Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So today we are going to continue our story from previous episode. And as you can see, I have two images created and two containers running. And what I'm going to teach you for today, it's how to uh, perform uh, changes on your Docker container. Meaning how to update your image, how to install some application to your image and how to all of those changes save into another Docker image. And this technique can be really handy if you have some specific needs. So now first thing what we are going to do is uh, type uh, sudo docker exec u root because we need to be root uh, in order to update our image t and i for uh, interactive container and I'm going to deal with server and we have to provide bin bash because we need uh, to log into a shell of our container all right we are in so if i type ls you see that i'm going to see content of uh, my uh, app directory inside of this container but what i want to do i want to run apt update at apt upgrade like with any other Linux machine all right and now I'm going to run apt install for example now fetch all right Now I'm just going to run neofetch and this is what we got. So if that is clear, I'm going to type exit, going to clear my screen. And now I'm going to use command sudo docker container commit and I'm going to uh, use container that we just changed. So server and I want to save it into KST column new server. All right, now I'm going to uh, list my images. sudo docker image ls and you can see that I have my new server saved but now my new server has 368 uh, megabytes quite some difference <laughs> you see okay i'm going to clear my screen and final subject for this episode it's how to transfer files uh, between containers and your local file system first i'm going to list my uh, local directory this is content and I'm going to create uh, one uh, more document with sudo nano let's call it message txt this is some message for the container okay I'm going to write it out all right let's see cat message txt no i misspell it okay this is some message for the container uh, so first i'm going to list my containers sudo docker container ls and i want to transfer this uh, document uh, to server for example so i'm going to use sudo docker container cp and first address it's uh, going to be source second address is going to be destination uh, but uh, we are going to uh, provide uh, local uh, addresses in regular way in regular fashion so i'm going to uh, transfer message txt from my local uh, directory and now when we are dealing with containers first we have to provide a name of a container and that is server then column and then a path to what directory we want to uh, store this file 
So I'm going to store it in app directory and I'm going to call it message from the world.txt. And now I'm going to access a file system of uh, this container with sudo docker exec. I don't need to be root for now, but let's go with it. U root t i uh, server and bin bash. Let me check. Is it server? Yes. We transferred this document to, to the server. Okay, let's see what we have in app. Now we have a docker file main and message from the board. And now I'm going to check that message from the word txt. And we don't have nano. <laughs> let's go with cat. This is message from the con for the container. Now we can also commit changes uh, in order to uh, store this as another image, but it's not necessary for this episode. Uh, so guys, that's all for now. I hope that you learned something new and interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.